Good morning and welcome to ASH 2017. We've had a great meeting so far and I wanted to summarize one of the Friday Satellite Symposiums that we had. This was for the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation and it was put together by Dr. Keith Stewart and Dr. Paul Richardson. It was a great way for us to summarize what's been going on in myeloma, talk about clinical scenarios, and also talk about some of the novel treatments. My part focused particularly on newly diagnosed myeloma and how we approach a patient. We started off with the case scenario and we talked to the audience to see how they would treat the patient. What we discussed was that there have been a lot of studies to help us further define how to treat newly diagnosed myeloma patients. Sometimes it can be confusing with all of the drugs available, but we know from randomized clinical trials that there are good combinations that can help us get good overall response rates. One of the things we discussed was a triple versus double combination. If your patient is able to tolerate it, then we know that three drugs are better than two. We talked about the various drug combinations that you can use, including Velcade, Revlimid, and Dexamethasone, or maybe Velcade, Cytoxin, and Dexamethasone. And we talked about how there have been randomized trials to look at these imid proteasome inhibitor combinations versus imid alkylator combinations. Although there are some differences and some similarities, it seems that the VRD combination has a deeper response rate. And although many people choose to use that in America, you have to consider whether Revlimid is available or not. In addition, you have to decide, can your patient tolerate that? In the case that we presented, the patient had had a creatinine of 3.5, and the physician chose to go instead with Cybor-D or Velcade uh, cytoxin and dexamethasone. So we talked about the various aspects of that. In addition, we talked about the use of transplant and how you have to talk about if you're transplant eligible or not with your patient up front. We talked about the randomized trials that looked at transplant and how the American trial had shown that a single transplant, not necessarily a tandem or consolidation, was just as good as the others in the setting of maintenance therapy. We did discuss maintenance therapy as well and how that improves survival, both progression-free survival and overall survival. And we also talked about new data that's coming out at this meeting that might show that tandem transplant may actually be better. And I think that the conflicting results mean that we have to wait for longer survival time to figure out exactly how to counsel our patients. So that was what we talked about in our session. And we had other sessions also, which were also very interesting. And we think it's gonna be a great year for myeloma.